Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a checkered pattern in Photoshop. First off, we are going to create our pattern document. So we'll click on Create New. And then the dimensions of this, I'm going to do a 400 pixels by 400 pixels, just leaving the resolution at 300, setting the color mode to RGB color, and then I'm going to change my background content to transparent and then go ahead and click on create. Zooming in on my canvas here, and then I'm also gonna bring up my layers panels, selecting windows and then layers. From here, we are going to create our square. So I'm gonna use the marquee tool, square marquee tool. And then up here um, under style, you're gonna select fixed size and then um, since our document is 400 by 400, we are going to do a dimensions of uh, 200 pixels wide by uh, 200 pixels high. And then I'm just going to select it and then it will outline that uh, square there for us. And then just to fill that with our foreground color, looking at our uh, basic colors here, um, we are I'm going to do the keyboard shortcut um, option delete. For Mac users, that would be Alt Backspace for PC. And then I'm just going to deselect that here, Command D. And then we are going to um, orient it on our canvas here. So I am going to select the marquee tool. Um, again, it would be M. We are already there. And then I'm going to do Command A to select all. And then from here, we're going to do V to move to our move tool. And what that does is it, um, by selecting all, it just pulls up these um, um, controls here at the top so we can orient it on our canvas. And so I'm going to align it to the top and then I'm going to align it to the left edge here. And then next we are going to duplicate this layer. So right clicking duplicate layer. Go ahead and click on OK. And then with, uh, we still have our, um, everything selected here on this new layer. And then we are going to position it in this bottom corner. So this time I'm going to align it to the right and then we'll align it to the bottom. And then we get our checkered look here. So now I can um, deselect everything, Command D, just select off my canvas here. And then the next step is to uh, define our pattern. So we're gonna go to Edit, Define Pattern. You can go ahead and give it a name and then clicking OK here. And then uh, we will create a new document. So we have File, New. Uh, this time I'm going to give it the dimensions of digital scrapbook paper. So I'm going to go 3600 pixels by 3600 pixels. I'm setting the resolution to 300 pixels per inch. Our color mode is going to be RGB color. And then uh, this time I'm just going to have my background content set to white. I'm going to create that document. The next step is to um, add our pattern. So in our layers panel here, I'm going to go to and add a pattern adjustment layer. From here, you can select your newly created pattern. And then uh, when you're in this dialog box, you have the option to um, change the angle. You can scale it up. You can scale it down. We'll go back to our original 100% here. And then you even have the option to um, move it around on the canvas here. And then if you want to get back to the original, you just click snap to origin. Go ahead and click on OK. So we have our checkered pattern, which is definitely has an effect visually on the eyes for sure. Um, we are gonna create our um, change the color. So let's go ahead and add a solid color adjustment layer. We can select a um, color from the uh, color picker here, um, or you can choose from your swatches. So we'll click OK there. And then the next step is to create a clipping mask. So with that layer selected, you can right click and you can select create clipping mask or you can use the um, keyboard shortcut. In this case, you will hover between the two layers and then uh, click option for Mac users and then click and it will um, create a clipping mask and add that color. If you want to go ahead and 
It's really easy um, when you use these adjustment layers to click back in, you can change the color and it just makes it very easy that way. And then to do the same for the um, background, if you wanna change the background color, add another solid color adjustment layer, and then you can pick a new color here to um, easily change the colors there. The next step here would be uh, to uh, save your pattern. So we'll go to a uh, file, save as, go ahead and give it a name, and then uh, select your folder. And then under format, you are going to click the drop down. And this time we're gonna select JPEG. And then uh, just to be aware, you wanna make sure that this color profile is, is still um, selected here and then click save. And then uh, if you are planning on uh, selling um, digital scrapbook paper as part of a paper pack, you wanna make sure that it is the um, highest quality. And so uh, when we created this document, we used those dimensions 3600 by 3600, and you always wanna make sure it's at 300 DPI. And then when you go to save it here, you wanna make it the highest quality, so you can just drag this over to the maximum and then click on OK. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a checkered pattern in Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In the description, I will leave a link to my shop where I sell Photoshop pattern templates. You can also check out my Etsy shop where I sell digital scrapbooking paper packs. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.